Well, all right, hey guys, hey, what's happening? How you doing? Uh, man, today I'm on the uh, the vault, just prepping for a cook in the morning time. And I know that there's been a couple questions about, you know, how do you guys, you know, how do I maintain my pit and uh, keep it clean and also keeping my, might be a hard guy, I got uh, got some glare in here. And keeping your stacks from getting not clogged all the time. Well, it shouldn't happen. You know, me, uh, I like to keep a clean pit. And that's why my, most of the time I am cooking in pans, you know, as is every now and then I might, you know, cook on the racks, but most of the time I'm in the pan. But tomorrow I am gonna be cooking on the rack. Uh, but but also if you're gonna cook on the racks, have a drip pan to catch all your drippings. And that's that's most of the, the problems uh, when you when you having, you know, a clawed up stack or or having dirty smoke or fire management, but I like to dump water like every three cooks on my stack up here. And that's so that way, when it goes down, close it, close your ball valves, close all your valves in the back, close your stack, and it's gonna act like it's gonna act like a steam sink where it's gonna soften all your your creosote, even the big ones. See how it flakes off like that? You know, that's what I did uh, I think a, probably a week ago, and it just flakes off. You know, so this is after a couple cooks, so it's still flaking off. And when you do that, you see these the, your stack here. It goes from here, and then it goes up, and then out uh, the stack in the front. But sometimes you can stick your hand up there, and you can actually feel to see how much you know how much creel set is in there. And that's what you do, man. I'm telling you, just dump a gallon of water. Get it up like 400 degrees after each cook, dump it in there, and I guarantee you, you won't have that problem. And then once you let it let it steam for 24 hours, drain the water, and then when you come back in, it should be dry. All right, it should be dry. So if you look at this, how it's flaking off. So let it dry, even up top. Okay, then look at the back, because the smoke is gonna come up from the pit, I mean, from the, uh, uh, from the fire basket out here, reverse flow. You stick your hand back there. It should be kind of smooth. If you feel a lot of creel soot, that's what you need to do. So that's what I did here. See all that smooth stuff and the creel soot just comes off. Okay. What the problem is is here on the stack. You know, you can get a wire brush, a long wire brush, a hanger, a flexible rod. You stick it up in there and just do the best you can. And then afterwards, what I usually do, and then you can get a, a little a hammer. This is just an old piece of thing that I use to clean out my clean out my uh, uh, just my, my bottom if I got drippings, and just tap it. And you'll see after you'll see all that stuff falling down. Uh, and that's the way, and, and that's the, one of the ways you can do it. it. Just tap it. Okay, trust me, it'll fall out, and you'll have some. You'll you'll have a good airflow going through. Do the same thing here. just tap it and uh, if you're still having a problem do it again you know steam it and uh, that'll happen and it just drop off because when I did mine a couple weeks ago I can see it, it just started falling off and uh, that, that'll help out just a little bit but you gotta you gotta have pit maintenance and you have to do it I mean if you're cooking a lot like I do uh, I may do it every like every three cooks and uh, so that would help. But pit is clean. I like a clean pit down here. Keep that ash out, guys, because you can get, if you leave your ash in there, you know, ash is acidic, so it can cause some rust. So be, just be careful about that. Clean the pit up, uh, clean your um, your burn box out too. All right, and then reseason if you have to. And so that's what happened here. All this is clear. But this is after a couple more cooks. And there you have it. okay so uh just fyi just get that water matter of fact let's go up top and look i'm at my shop today just preparing for a cook hold on John. okay i don't know how good y'all can look down in there but it's clean and that's come that comes from dropping hot water down there and then closing it 
and then uh, once it cleans out, hey, dump some more water in there to clear all that stuff out. Trust me, it'll happen. And that's all clean down there. Let's look at reach. Yeah. Not much. All right. So all you guys that got just got your pit, just remember, every couple cooks, drop a gallon of water on there, close all your valves, close the doors, and let it do a steam bath. Let it sit up to 24 hours, open your doors up, guarantee you, let it's gonna crust up and just clean your pit. And then get a hammer or something and hit your size. Okay, hey, I gotta go, I gotta pre prepare for my night cook. Uh, it'll be around four o'clock in the morning and I'm gonna have it loaded down and I'll bring you guys back for that cook. All right, blessings to you and we'll talk to you later.